What's the difference between an H plus ion and a hydronium ion? Chemically, in effect, they're identical. Physically, let's talk about what's going on and why they're treated identically. We start with a water molecule. We've got uh, oxygen with six valence electrons, hydrogen with one each. They share two of them, and then we get to a full octet for the oxygen, so it's all set. The hydrogens are all set with two. You have a stable molecule. If another hydrogen atom were to wander up and say, hey, can I join in? And the oxygen is like, nope, I'm all set. I'm full. I got eight. I'm good. And the hydrogen is like, all right, fine, and wanders off again. But what if instead of a hydrogen atom, it was an H plus? See, compared to a hydrogen atom, an H plus is a bare proton. It has no electrons at all, no electron orbitals. It is shrunk down by a factor of 10,000. So it wouldn't even be a pinpoint on this scale. And the deal with that is when you have a bare positive charge, the electric field gets stronger and stronger and stronger the closer in you get. So as the electric field gets stronger and stronger and stronger, it gets more and more able to pull on electrons. So let's see what happens when an H plus approaches a water molecule. If it gets this close, the oxygen's like, no, nah, not interested. And, you know, it gets closer in, the oxygen's like, I got eight, and I'm more electronegative than you, go away. And then the hydrogen ion gets even closer until eventually the electric field of that bare proton is so intense, it's basically trying to rip the two electrons off of the oxygen. And the oxygen's not going to let them go without a fight, so they bond. You end up with another hydrogen attached, where both of the electrons were contributed by the oxygen. So the oxygen is now putting up with being positive because the bare proton was like so irresistible because its field was so, so strong. In effect, if you have an H plus in a solution, it is a tiny little speck compared to the water molecules. The first water molecule to come along, it's going to hit it like a bug on a windshield, and it's going to stick on there, and it's going to be hydronium. So in effect, a hydronium is just an H plus that has hitched a ride on the first water molecule to come along. And so chemically, it's identical. Basically, you're doing things in solution anyway. Water is everywhere. And so we just effectively ignore the water, and we think of it as H plus. So in chemistry, whenever they're talking about hydronium ion, H3O+, or they're talking about H+, they mean the same thing. I hope that clears up the concept.